Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel and also for the beta channel because as you all know, for the past month or so, Microsoft has released the same build for the dev and the beta channels, even though they're different builds, it is pretty much the same build. So in this video, we are talking about the build 26200.5651 for the dev channel. And if you're on the beta channel, it is the build 26120.4441. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev and the beta channel. One thing you may notice right away in this build is that Microsoft has added the Vista sound as the default login sound for this build. This is quite interesting and this has been confirmed by Microsoft as a small Easter egg. So let me just show it to you. I'm just going to sign out from this build and then when we are logging back in, you're going to hear the Vista login sound in this build, which is quite interesting. First of all, Microsoft is announcing the new agent in settings, which is basically a tool that uses AI that allows you to describe what you need help with. For example, how to control my PC by voice or my mouse pointer is too small. Basically, the search box in the settings app will be moved at the top, most likely in the center like this, and you're going to be able to search for something by describing it. But you have to keep in mind that this is only a Copel Plus PC feature. So even if the new search box rolls out to you, you won't be able to use the new AI feature that allows you to just describe a setting to find it that is only available on Copilot Plus PCs. We also have a new recall export experience for Windows 11 and Satters in the European Economic Area, which is of course also a Copilot Plus PC feature. And basically, Windows and Satters will now have the option to export their recall snapshots to be shared with third-party apps and websites. You can also find these settings in Settings, Privacy and Security, Recall and Snapshots, Advanced Settings, and then you're going to have the options Export Past Snapshots or Export Snapshots snapshots from now on. Related to recall, Microsoft is also adding the ability to reset recall and all its data. You'll now see an advanced settings page that allows you to do so alongside with a few other changes. For example, the default value for maximum storage duration for recall snapshot has been changed from unlimited to 90 days. And Microsoft is also now providing teaching tips for recall features. And also as a new AI feature for Copilot Plus PCs related to click to do, you will now have the option to ask Microsoft 365 Copilot if you have a Copilot Plus PC. And you'll also be able to send a message with Teams or schedule a meeting with Teams using Click To Do. I think this is pretty useful, but as I've said and I repeat it again, this is only available for Copilot Plus PC. So these are AI features that an average user won't have. Talking about new features for normal users, if you open up the notification center, you're going to notice that the option to show a bigger clock with seconds above the date and calendar in the notification center is now available inside Windows 11. And you can find the settings for this inside settings. Then if you go to time and language and then date and time, you're going to see this new option, Showtime in Notification Center. This is how it looks without, and this is how it looks with it. This is a highly requested feature from Windows 10, which I think is pretty good that Microsoft implemented in Windows 11. Inside the File Explorer, you're also going to notice that the context menu has received some updates. For example, you may notice that the top level icons that show at the top or the bottom of the File Explorer context menu now has some dividers. I think that is pretty interesting, and they are basically differentiated better with these dividers. Related to voice access, Microsoft is reintroducing using Chinese support for voice access and adding Japanese support. You can now use voice access to navigate, dictate, and interact with Windows using voice commands and simplify Chinese, traditional Chinese, and Japanese. I think that is pretty interesting that Microsoft is working on these things related to voice access. Related to Windows Share, when you share a OneDrive cloud file by right-clicking to share on the file, new options for sharing that link through other apps will be provided under Sharing With when the Copy Link button is clicked. This experience is rolling out to Windows Insider, sign in with your Microsoft account, not in the European economic area. And also Microsoft is reminding us again that they've updated the activation dialogues in Windows 11. For example, if you click on the change product key or on the troubleshoot activation, these are new dialogues that have been changed alongside with the retail activation and phone activation. Let's now talk about a few fixes in this build. For example, related to the file explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue when opening folders starting from outside of file explorer, where file explorer would open it in a new tab, but the tab wasn't put in focus. They also fixed the memory leak impacting some and people when navigating through File Explorer folders, impacting performance and reliability over time. The Microsoft also has done some more work to improve the performance of extracting archive files. This will particularly help in the case of copy pasting large number of files out of 7-zip or .rar archives. Related to the Start menu, Microsoft fixed an issue for insiders with the new Start menu where it was displaying in the wrong direction when using an Arabic or Hebrew display language. And they also fixed an issue for insiders with the updated Start menu where the Move to Front, Move Right, Move Left options from 
from the context menu for pinned apps weren't working. Related to the settings app, Microsoft fixed an underlying issue which was causing some installers to see the settings navigation pane entries in settings rather than their preferred language in the last couple of flights. And we also have some other fixes. For example, Microsoft fixed an underlying issue which was causing fonts in certain app menus to unexpectedly appear corrupted or overlapped. And they also fixed an issue where running a script on a remote SMB share might take an unexpectedly long time if the share was an older Windows Server version like Windows Server 2019. There are also no new known issues in this build, so that's good news. But of course, if you want to find more information about this build, you can check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Jumani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.